I have made seven of these daisy clocks now and every single one of them has been different because I really like to try new things. For this one, I really wanted to try a similar technique to the first clock I showed you with the smiley faces on it that everyone thought were upside down. I'm not really sure why everyone thought that, but they were right side up. The main difference for this one is I wanted the daisies to be yellow instead of white. And so while the piece was still in the green wire stage, I painted on three coats of yellow to all of the flowers. And then I put it through the kiln for a bisque firing. And this is a really good comparison of how underglaze is change in the kiln because look at how bright it got. Then just like the first clock, I painted the entire thing with black glaze and then I wiped it off so that it only sat in the texture. For some reason, I didn't paint the face of the clock at this point, but I did end up painting it black later because I decided it would be prettiest in black. I don't think this wiping technique was perfect because I really wish the lines were a lot crispier than they were. And so I actually went back through and painted a lot of them with a liner brush before dipping it in clear and putting it in the kiln. It also got a third firing for gold luster in all of the lines. And this is how it 